Okay, so I'm at a customer's house and I've been here before and we got the electrician here and we found some pretty interesting nuances here. Number one, initially I had three amps as I clamped over the, the pipe here, which is actually the gas line. And we notice here with now, uh, we have a 0.2 amps on this pipe here. And up here though, we have, what are we got up here? Up here, so three amps. Yeah, we got, 2.66 amps on this and this would, this would be the, this, the, gas. the gas line too so the gas line we have a water line right, right. gas right. line water line we know that there's probably some friction from these guys hitting the air conditioning vent here but go ahead and walk me over here to the very beginning when tell me what's going on here which it was pretty amazing we have a, a water pipe and then we have a gas line touching up here so we have net yeah. current coming in on the water so line. we have this is the water inlet so 0 0.3, 0 0.4 outside. amps, and that can change right. throughout the day. Um, and we now, also had net current on the gas line. So, so we knew that those two things had to be touching at some point. So in this case, it was right. Okay, so this is Eric. He's my ex my electrician, so to become a building biologist. I've called him in here to find the booby traps. We had some we had some indicators here, but we didn't know exactly what 100 percent was going on. I thought maybe it might, might be a blower. We knew we had net current on the furnace line which mainly means a blower portion is going not necessarily the air conditioner portion is the problem but the furnace blower because they both work on on the air conditioning and heat and heating so but go ahead and put this show me what you've done up here so this is well, we, found, we found the gas line touching the water pipe here it's, okay it's so, sitting on it so we put this piece of cardboard in here to separate that bond okay and then we retested all right so now now that's still at about 0.2. I might have dropped a little bit there actually. Let's walk over here. Now went from 2.7 amps to zero amps up here now. And then over here, we had 0.2 earlier. We still got 0.2, which means we still got 0.2 coming into the water pipe, coming from the grid, coming down, hitting this, and it's taking a lease path and probably traveling through here. Let's do this again. Take this around, clamp over here. It's probably gonna be a 0.2. Yeah, 0.2. It's like we thought, it's like a least path of resistance. And Where it jumps on likely the neutral. So the it's furnace. jumping on the neutral. And do we, do we want to do a magnetic field test here now? Because yeah, we had about, what was it, about a 30 or 50? It was over 80, 100. Over 100 milligrams yeah, well, on this. Jason, go pull that so out this, there. So this was the water pipe, right? This is a gas line. Oh, this is a gas line. Yeah. So it's touching the water pipe at the entrance coming into the house. Here. Now we're going to take the cardboard off and see what happened here. Now it's jumped up to over it's 99. Over. So it basically matches up the meter. Yeah. Back. Put the cardboard back. You can see back here. Wow. So we still think there's a couple more things going on here. Maybe some, some possibly something touching the chassis of some sort here. A, a neutral, but uh, we're definitely eliminating some of the some of the issues. So thank you so much.